before start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media and if you have any question or inquiry you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my instagram so if we look together at the visa policy map of armenia just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and will show you the visa policy map of armenia as you can see some countries can travel to armenia without any need for any visa for 180 days like united states for example other countries can stay for up to 90 days like uh, either iran or uh, china some countries can apply for either visa on uh, arrival or electronic uh, visa for uh, up to 120 days like many countries of uh, south america turkey uh, india for the rest of the world especially mostly uh, the african countries all these gray area countries you will have to apply for visa from the embassy of armenia in your country before traveling so if you are eligible to apply for electronic visa just click over this link over here evisa.mfa.am slash just click over this link this page will appear in front of you and this is the official website from where you can apply for electronic visa for armenia so let's see together how to apply for visa for armenia using the uh, this website how to apply for electronic visa just click over apply for electronic visa and check your eligibility i have an ordinary passport and my passport is issued by let's say india where is india okay and i'll write my email kabacha the next then they will send me a confirmation email through my email let's check our email gmail okay this is our email no not this one i'm sorry now i received this email electronic visa verification email okay e-visa issuance system republic of armenia click confirm and you will be directed to this page and now you can start filling your personal information passport number one two three four five six mail issued on which date let's say expiry date will be uh, which date let's choose uh, okay let's say this date and given name all the start sections here must be filled middle name not necessary surname i think not necessary birth date okay i don't know why i can okay birth date let's go back come on come on okay which day okay this date okay this is birthday personal data country of birth okay let's keep it india place of birth have you ever been convicted of any crime no occupation contact information residential address phone number one two three four five six seven eight nine okay contact information in armenia the name of your hotel or hostel three four five six seven eight nine okay attachments you'll have to attach facial photo okay of you and passport scan is required your passport supporting documents 
would you like to add in other documents like uh, air ticket or something like that if you have any supporting documents like air ticket hotel reservation medical travel insurance proof of funds others please provide it it will help you to strength your situation then click okay oh you have to invitation for example in case the invitation exists air ticket are you going to proceed without specifying a surname this is only allowed if it is not specified in your identification document okay let's write a surname so it's optional but it's better to write it then click next visit purpose uh duration 21 days or 120 days okay so let's choose this one then click next purpose of visit tourism okay so the price will be 30 us dollars date of entry to armenia let's say i'm going to enter that date then next okay so now you are reviewing your data data confirmation if you are fine with it click i read the agreement proceed to payment it is loading 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 okay state okay now which way you want to pay by paypal or by visa card i will pay by credit card then okay click pay now you'll have to fill your card numbers over here and once you fill your card numbers you'll have to click over here to confirm your payment and once your payment is generated you'll receive a confirmation email through the email and once your visa uh, application is processed and accepted you will receive it also through your email so if you are eligible only for visas through the embassy and want to download the visa application form just to click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and over here you can see and download the visa application form just to click over this link and this is the visa application form for armenia okay you can just to uh, download it and print it and fill it manually and in the end don't forget to write your signature and the date over here then you have to submit this visa application form along with all the required documents that we will be speaking about in the end of this video to the embassy of armenia in your country so if you don't know where to submit the visa application form after filling the visa application form just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you and it will show you a list of the armenian embassies and consulates around the world just search for your country and you'll find all the details the location the phone number uh, the email and even the website of the armenian embassy in your country the first document that you will need for your visa application is your passport make sure that your passport is valid at least for six months and at least two pages uh, are there are empty for stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear you will need also photocopies of your passport at least make sure you have three photocopies sometimes they require only a photocopy of the data pages but sometimes you will need also to photocopy the stamps uh, pages and the other visas you have in your passport you will also need to submit personal pictures make sure that your picture is new not older than six months with a white background unless uh, the embassy or the visa office tell you something else and with clear face details you will also need a visa application form this visa application form 
could be filled and submitted online other visa application form uh, could be filled on computer then printed and signed and other visa application form uh, need to be filled manually all depend on your destination and the type of the visa you're applying for you will also need to submit a proof of status if you are an employee then you will need to bring an HR letter from your company and this HR letter uh, should be signed and stamped with all the details of your company and your position in the company and stating your salary as well if you are a business owner then you need to submit all the documents that you have that can prove that you own a business if you are a student then you will need to ask your university to give you an admission letter if you're a minor then your father and mother your parents should be approving your travel by giving you uh, a letter signed by them if you are jobless then try to approve your uh, means of, uh, of, of funds sometimes you will need to provide a proof of legal status if you are applying from another country than your main country of nationality uh, in that case you either need to submit a valid visa of this company of this country or uh, a proof of legal uh, residency in this country you will need also to submit a bank statement as a proof of funds it should cover the last six months uh, movement of your account and it should be signed and stamped by your bank number eight is your flight reservation it should be a round trip and some countries require you to submit a confirmed ticket and for others it will be okay to submit a dummy ticket and i will teach you how to make both of them the confirmed ticket and the dummy ticket number nine is your travel accommodation or the booking of your hotel sometimes it's required to be confirmed and sometimes it's okay to be an initial booking and sometimes some countries require you that this booking should cover at least a third of your trip number 10 is your travel insurance and remember it's not always necessary and uh, it should be made from a verified platform or office uh, acknowledged by uh, the country you are traveling to and it should cover uh, your whole trip and sometimes it's required to submit a travel insurance that covers a year and uh, it's minimal uh, it, the minimal coverage should be at least 30,000 euros remember that before applying for the visa you will need to contact the embassy or the application office and ask them about if there is any change in the documents or if there is any special documents required from you because sometimes documents are different from a country to another